Hi, I'm Navidan Sari. I have more than eight years experience in PCB design. In this course, we want to build a custom Arduino. It is a real experience. So we will explain all of the things that Circuit Maker have. And we will design this custom Arduino that it has a Arduino in it. And it has more than just Arduino. It has a temperature sensor and it has two relays. It is so much cheaper than a um, regular Arduino. First, we will talk about its power supply and we will um, design its power supply in here next we will design usb to, to serial or uart converter as cheap as it can be next we will talk about exact arduino and the mcu that they use in their pcb but we will make some improvement to this arduino so it will be more reliable next we will add a temperature sensor to our custom Arduino. And after that, we will add two relays to our PCB. You see, in here, we add some rules to our schematic. So in PCB, we don't make any mistake. We will talk about why we want to use transistor for driving relays. We will talk about why we use this diode here to protect our PCB and why we use this part we will talk about capacitor a lot what capacitor you should choose on the in input side of this regulator and what the capacitor you should use on output of this capacitor we will talk about all the thing about this mcu that is uh, 80 mega 8 and we use it as arduino and why we should use crystal on it in this course we want to use smd part for all the component that we want we will talk about what part to use so mechanical stress can't break your PCB. Next, we will talk about how you can calculate what is the width of this track here. How much clearance you should have between polygon and this track here so our PCB won't be explode. We will check all design rules so we don't make a mistake. Altium Circuit Maker will help us so we won't make any mistake with design rule check. We will create a polygon for our PCB so it will be more reliable against noise and cross dot. We will talk about how you can place all the components on PCB fast and easy. We will talk about how you can uh, root your PCB so cross talk won't affect on it or noise won't affect on it. Let's just begin. What is Circuit Maker? Circuit Maker is another software from Altium. Altium has another software, software that called Altium Designer that is so expensive, it's like $10,000. But they publish a, another software that called Circuit Maker that is a free community driven PCB design tool. Um, and you should be online when you install it and when you work with it, you can have your own PCB in it, you can create your own PCB. If you don't know what is the PCB, if you search it, PCB. You can see some example in images. You see this this all this all called um, PCB. Okay, so if you search Circuit Maker in Google, you can find their website. Before it was just in Altium, but now they have their own uh, site that you can just go to this site. If you open this CircuitMaker.com, you go uh, you can go to here. So this is their site. Let's just look at it. If you go down in here, you can see it is unlimited and free. And uh, there is some option that they want to talk about. Uh, one of them is uh, push and shove routing. Uh, I will tell you in example what this is. In Altium Designer, when you just routing, you can push all another, um, all other route for your new track. So I will tell you what it is in um, example. There is a lot of um, library for this uh, circuit maker that has a lot of components that you, you want to use and you can use it. It is easy and I will show you. There is multi multi sheet schematic editor so you can have multiple sheet. And I will show you what it is and you can just um, upload um, all of the designing that you make uh, will be shared on Altium cloud base. So 
Yeah. If you don't want, you can just have it privately, but you can share it in um, Altium Cloud. So if you go up, you see some of the last some of some of the last PCV that users um, designed, and you can comment on it. You can just use it. You can like it. It's like community. So uh, another thing is auto router. Auto router. I don't recommend it because there is a lot of uh, rules for PCB designing and electrical um, aspect of it, and uh, something like what capacitance you want your um, PCB have on the plane of ground and um, five volt or VCC. There is rule uh, rule checking. There is 3D body for all the component. You can just manufacture it. They claim that is one click manufacturing and you can import uh, from Eagle, ORCAD, PCAD, PADS and um, maybe they will add more to it on, in the future updates. So let's just download it and see uh, what all of this is. Um, this is, has a lot that is in um, Altium Designer but it is much easier than, than Altium Designer and it is free. So it is so cool. Let's just go here in top of uh, this site, click download. So in here, they, they ask you to uh, provide this information. So you be able to download uh, Altium Circuit Maker. First name is Navid. Last name is Ansori and email. Navid, sorry. Navid, Ansori, mp8 at gmail.com. So you should check this, that I accept this. Uh, I'm not a robot, so they will just tell you which image has chimney I think this tree has that's cool sign up and they will send you an email you should open it so they did send you an email you see that you can click on it so first click on um, this this icon that it says activate account you see and next you can just download it so you see when you uh, click on activate your account this will open this page for you it's email you should just uh, choose an a password so I wanna choose a password that's cool in here click next I'm more like this so next and no i can just download circuit maker it's just no, nine megabyte you should save it it is an installer and something like downloader let's just wait until it's downloaded so no that is downloaded just click on it you see this is first page that you will see click next on in here please click i agree in here and in here they need username, have it, and sorry, mp at gmail.com. That's my email. And password, password that you choose, login. So in here, um, they tell you what you need, you want to install. And in here, if you click here, it will tell you, uh, do you want importer or exporter for these or not? So just click on all of it. You will need it. Click next. Uh, no. If you go back, you see uh, its size that you should download. Click next, and in here, where do you want to just um, install it? You can just click in here and choose which wherever you want to install it. Click next, next, and it will start downloading. And after that, it will install it. So do it's downloaded and installed on your computer. You can just hit finished and let's just finish and you can see in here you have um, a circuit maker you can right click on it and pin it to a start you can have it here and you can just link it in here you see when you click it you can just open uh, Altium circuit maker now because you have a lot of work to do with it um, I recommend you to um, just pin it in here just in here just say low access because it need internet so give it uh, access that uh, it want the first time that you uh, open a circuit maker it will tell you to put username and password in it if you don't uh, enter your username and password you can work with it okay so you see 
projects component community account all of these is gray and you should first in here put your username and password um, just check this so um, you don't need to um, again enter these so sign in you see now you can select component community my account um, just close this you see you can open um, the project that um, anyone else uh, just um, create on um, Altium you can open it and uh, use it there is a lot of cool project in it so you can use it but we want to just create our own project for that we can just click add new project in here uh, first you should uh, give it a name for first project uh, I want to use Arduino a custom Arduino and in here if you just check public you can just uh, create uh, you will create a project that everybody can see it like Instagram when you have a public um, profile and everybody can see your pictures in here is like that if you mm, just create a public project it will be shared between all the people that is in um, circuit maker or Altium cloud but if you want um, a project for yourself and you want it private you can check sandbox but for now I want to make it public so you can see it for description you can write whatever you want custom project for for course and Udemy click save and in here you can change change your name you can add an image to your project you can um, change um, description you can change access type you can change current stage for this we want to just select prototype because um, I want to just create a prototype or you can just um, select any no I, I want to just choose concept you can add more images and you can um, um, write a description for your project when you want to share it you can you want to have um, a description for it like caption in Instagram so that's it you can add links to it you can add attachment like data sheet or whatever you want and you can know just save it so you see it is the first project that we built you see we didn't choose any image I'm Navidan sorry and there is not any picture on it there is not a description and that's cool let's just open it one follower in here you see one follower zero comment zero view zero fork and zero thumbs up or like so let's just open it now that it is open it it will show you a project PCB project and it has no document on it how you can create uh, add a document in it if you right click in here you can you can just select add new to project first thing you should do you should add a schematic when you just finish your schematic you can add PCB to it so first we can just add a schematic and in here it tell you what you want your uh, schematic na name be so let's just say it is main schematic so click ok you can name it whatever you want because it need internet so it is a little slow that's cool let's just close inspector I will tell you what it is now we create our schematic you can just save it by save all that's cool for the first board that we want to design uh, we want to use Arduino but this time is not an ordinary Arduino we want to create our Arduino so let's just first talk about what is Arduino basically Arduino consists of a microcontroller a USB to UART uh, converter uh, a regulator and um, what this microcontroller need like capacitor bypass capacitor or um, a crystal and some header pin for programming it and uh, some header pin for using their IO 
their their pins there is some kind of arduino like this um that um is a smaller that is arduino nano this is i think arduino um uno and um, some other arduino like this big one um it's um 25 60 i think and uh, you see they have um, a revision a reversion of it uh, so what exactly arduino is arduino is just a microcontroller that has a bootloader on it what is bootloader um, for simplicity to program arduino uh, there is a bootloader that let you to program this microcontroller with um, something like this ic that is here and it called a usb to ttl or usb to user converter that's it that's all arduino is a bootloader on a microcontroller that let you program it with a usb to uart converter that is this ic okay so what we can do to use this arduino for big project um, we can just um, use this microcontroller with its crystal and bypass capacitor and circuit um, reset circuit and um, uh, we can just create this part and use it on our board to be able to uh, write a program for it that is so simple uh, the best thing about Arduino is that it has a big community um, and um, it has a lot of example that you can just create your own project with it and it, it is so easy to work with it in this course we want to create a, a custom Arduino let's say this is a or PCB okay and in this PCB there is a microcontroller that I want to use a SMD part in here you can see that this is not a SMD it is true whole component but in here, it, this is a SMD part. This is SMD part. This is true whole component or THD component. This is SMD part. This is THD part. This is SMD. This is SMD. This two is SMD. So they, they are surface mount component. So in here, we want to use a SMD part. So in our project, we want to use a microcontroller that we want to install Arduino bootloader on it so that is our Arduino so this is our Arduino this Arduino need a regulator so we put a something like DC jack in here for power let's just write it here power that's cool and after that we need a regulator let's just put it here of course we will change it in the future but for now just i want to show you a schematic of it uh, that's our regulator that's our dc jack and they should be connected together let's just make it big that's cool it needs a vcc and ground and this regulator uh, create a you know, something like 3.3 or 5 volt so that's it or arduino will be on this arduino needs some capacitor and a crystal that we will just add add to it so in arduino we will add all of the thing that it need after that you see uh, no we have our crystal let's just go here we have our crystal for um a, mm, our arduino maybe we don't need um, we don't need this we can just use internal internal crystal so it's okay we can use crystal if we, we need more speed we can simply don't use it we can just use internal internal crystal so we have this dc jack let's just have these two uh, alongside each other so in here you see we have our arduino that that is this um, microcontroller and with its bypasses and reset circuit and everything like that and we have a regulator that is here and dc jack that is here and now we need a usb to uart converter that is here um, if we want to just program it uh, if we if we have a big project for mass production we don't need to add this component to it 
Why? Because we want to program it once when it, it reach a mass production uh, level. So if we don't add this to our project, we can just create another PCB for uh, this. And with this, we can program all the board. But for this project, we want to add this as well. So we will have a, a project a project of a custom Arduino that we can just plug a USB cable to it and program it. And it may be easier for uh, everybody. But if you just want to use a use it on a mass production, just don't use this. Okay, just create one of these for programming all the PC or the custom Arduino that you have. So in here, let's just add a USB, USB connector here, and let's just write to it, USB connector. We can use micro USB, type C, type B, whatever connector we want to use, we can use it here. And after that, we want to just a USB to UART convert. USB to UART converter. That's it. And um, uh, we need four line from here to here. And from here to here, we, we just need two line for RX and TX. Of course, I will show this to you uh, much more in details, but for now, just have this. Um, another part that Arduino has is, let's just make it bigger, uh, these header pins. That's where our custom Arduino um, came from. We don't need to add these to our project. If we want to just have another uh, Arduino, like Arduino Uno, Arduino uh, Nano, or whatever like that, we can just add these headers to all the, all the other pins on our Arduino. But for now, we want to use uh, something like, um, uh, let's just show you, something like in here, temp sensor, six, that's good. Uh, we want to just add temp sensor that use I2C, okay, I2C need two line, and we want something like um, a relay, two relay maybe, to our PCB. Relay R1 and Relay R2 Two relay in here and we can just um, connect this two relay to our Arduino and uh, another thing that we can add we can just add some headers to it to be something like an Arduino some header here that's it um, maybe some headers here and a connector in here for connecting this uh, to relay to our external world and we can add a lot to it use uh, their pins um, but for now I think this is good let's just um, design this Arduino you see, uh, we will design this Arduino, but add uh, a lot to it, like temp sensor, really. Uh, maybe we add uh, another thing as well. So let's just begin and design our schematic for this PC. Now let's just talk about Arduino um, circuit. In here, you can see Arduino circuit. Uh, if you just zoom in here, I will upload this picture. First, this is our DC jack. And after that, this is its regulator, okay? And it creates over VCC that is five volt in here. Uh, and it use uh, this IC 7805 that is create five volt. You see this 05 is uh, stand for five volt and it need two capacitor uh, that one of them in 100 microfarad and 100 nanofarad and in output 100 microfarad. That's that's for our regulator and you see there is a diode for protection and that's cool and um, after that let's just see um, if you look at it this is this section here is not this this is um, 
uh, power selector uh, what power you want select you want to power your um, arduino with usb vcc or you want to power your arduino with a vcc that you create from um, regulator so this is power selector but this ic here with this capacitor and this usb connector and this indicator here and um, this rx takes is usb to u art converter that's it this section all of this section is usb to uart converter so that's another part that we want to create in our project and after that you have 80 mega 8 that is cheap cheaper than other avrs that it needs some capacitor bypass capacitor it need a um, crystal that uh, it use here and we can just don't use this crystal if we don't need a lot of the speed but in this project let's just use it and this is a reset circuit you see that is connected to reset and uh, this is a connector for um, programming this for um, what is what is it for for uh, it's for uh, program or arduino bootloader to it so we need this to program this 80 mega 8 uh, for it to be a arduino and we can write um, download or write our bootloader arduino bootloader to it to it so um, this is an LED indication that all Arduino has. And in this side, you know, there is some headers that we, we will add some of it. And we want to add a lot of things to it, some, uh, some relay to it. Not just this connector, we want to add some relays to it. And we want to add something like temperature sensor. And after that, maybe we add um, some other things. Um, but for now, I think that's okay. This is our circuit that we want to create in our project. So let's just begin. So if you remember, we did just create a project and we call it custom Arduino. You can just in latest activities, just click in here to open uh, this project. And uh, you can just read the latest news on uh, the circuit maker uh, software. And in here, you can you, you can just uh, open um, all the project that has um, more thumbs up or it's um, it's famous on circuit, circuit maker uh, community. You can open it and edit it or just use it for yourself. If you click in here, view all, you can see all the project that is in um, circuit maker um, community. You see it has more than 2000 page that in each one of them is more than uh, it's just 12 uh, projects so there is a lot of project in uh, there is a lot of ready project uh, to to edit or use uh, for yourself in uh, circuit maker um, community that is so cool um, so let's just go back and uh, we can just open our project in here, but we can go to my project in here and you see we just have one project. We can just click in here and open it. You see it's not a team project, so there is just one follower in here. That is me. You can just follow it here. No that we um, you we create a, a schematic in paint let's just um, uh, go to edit and add a picture to it uh, main project image let's just add it to here file let's just click here to upload your file and in circuit maker open it and you see that's our circuit let's just say that we want from here to here that's cool with this we crop it and hit save no we have our project image when we are finished with our project we can just change this picture then so that's cool for now let's just save it after we finish our project we can just change this picture again that's cool let's just now open our design and uh, you remember we create a, a schematic here and call it main dot um, sch is for a schematic doc is for documentation document uh, and this is a schematic document let's just open it and you see in here uh, there is a, um, a schematic uh, sheet in here 
and uh, no we should just just go to our project you see that's our arduino uh, circuit let's just uh, begin with usb and or let's just begin with this um, this regulator you see regulator in here is this but we can just use another thing um, like uh, lm1117 uh, you can search it and download its data sheet um, i think that one is cheaper let's just go if you uh, the good thing about uh, altium is uh, that you can you can see uh, you can look at a component price in altium itself so that's cool um so first thing we should we should do we should just make this page bigger because uh, we have a lot of circuit um, to put in here uh, and uh, before that let's just add some component to it so you can see why we should make it bigger um, for adding component to it let's just go to view and in here you see there is not a lot of space in this um, one screen so uh, the two options you can have one is for uh, that you can use uh, two monitor for one pc but in here because i'm recording uh, i want to just use one monitor in here so um, i need more space here if you go to view you can just uh, hide or show whatever you want now that you know i don't need this project panel i can just um, select project icon in here so it will go away next thing that i want to do is to add some component to our project where can i go to do that in library you can see when i click click here it will show up but if we click in here i can just hide it and again show it and hide it no let's just go to libraries what i want to do in here because um, it's an important section of altium uh, i want to just detach it so grab in here click in here and that's good put it here and make it bigger that's i think is enough there is a favorite tab in here but for now we want to just add a component to our project and maybe we can add uh, a component that we use a lot to our favorite uh, components but for no favorite is empty let's just go to auto part and you can see you can search in here let's just uh, see what we want to add in here first thing we want to just add this component we want to see if this component is cheaper or not from lm 11 17 so let's just search for see again uh, when you write it you see there is some suggestion just um, write this and hit enter on your keyboard and it will start to um, search for it so you see we need a big um, panel for libraries to uh, so we can read it uh, you can you can see in here pricing uh, first of all there is some description here uh, and uh, you see from sd uh, microelectronics uh, there is this ic it can draw uh, 1.5 amp 5 volt um, that's cool but uh, what is the price of it let's just make this uh, bigger so you can see it's um, 0.5 uh, usd so it's uh, a bit expensive but there is this part that is um, cheaper we can go down and you can see all the all the price from all the suppliers so that's you know that minimum um, price is this so let's just know search for lm 1117 and hit search it is uh, expand more more expensive so we can just either use this or use this part i think uh, you saw that this is cheaper than uh, all other you see uh, in here i can just um, select another one and you see their package i want to use um, smd because smd is so cheaper to manufacture so why did i want to use lm1170 i will show you if you search arduino 
and go to image you can you can see that they use lm 11 17 why we uh, why they use it because it is low droplet uh, it means uh, it um, it won't heat up a lot but lm um, this part um, 7805 is um, not good as this part here but for no because this is cheaper let's just use this that is easy to use uh, those two has um, similar configuration and similar um, external components so let's just use this it's there is not a lot of difference between them so you see in here there is a THD and you can see its part okay you can see its part in here and there is another one that is SMD or surface mount that you can see its uh, footprint in here so you can see there is another one here the important thing in here is um, that it should have a schematic and PCB footprint some of them in Octopart um, don't have this footprint so it should have put a footprint on it so you can use it and in here you can see a revision of it you can read it but uh, we can just use it in our project now and it's it telling me to uh, select one of these um, uh, the difference between them is um, this one is um, easier to solder because its pin is bigger so um, let's just see that it, this is a smaller you can see that and um, that's easy if, if we want to use this a lot we can just right click on this and select add to favorite library okay no component has been added so if no when we go to favorite you can see the part that we add to our favorite we can just select details in here you can see all the supplier for this and the prices and in here you can see its um, footprints and that's all let's just go to octopart octopart again and select that one again go to main and no we can't place it hit place on your keyboard that's good um, the thing is here that I want to show you is how we can zoom in our project let's just place this with left click in here okay and uh, it tells you that if you want to just place it in another uh, place you can just uh, place it but with right click you can just get rid of this right click we get rid of this and go back to libraries now I want to show you something less and uh, because of that I want to just hide in hide or libraries click in here and we hide it that's easy no I want to zoom in here uh, there is some way to do that you can just do do it with page up and page down with uh, hitting page up and page down you can zoom in it but the best way to do that is with um, holding your uh, middle mouse and um, move it forward let's just show you move it forward it will zoom and move it backward it will unzoom of course there is a zoom button in here or zoom document and you can use it but the best way is middle mouse to zoom and unzoom you can do it fast no I want to uh, tell you something that I did before uh, and that's it um, you see I add a component here and you see if if I want to add IC in here and some capacitor and some uh, IC in here there is not a lot of space left for relays or temperature sensor and uh, all the thing like that so what we should do we should just right click and go to option and go to document option and in here we can just change a standard styles and go to maybe a tree that's cool that's more than enough but you can make it smaller or make it bigger later and for now it is good let's just put it here and uh, the thing that is important for me is that this pin um, I think it is better to be on the grid I, I think you can't see the grid uh, good let's just uh, for doing uh, for make it uh, uh, visible let's just go to option grids and change grid color uh, you see this is the color let's just change it to this and hit ok you see it's more visible now but let's just change it again on grid and change it to be something like this it, it will be more visible now you can see the grid right you can see it clearly 
uh, one thing that is important for me is this component should be on the grid you see no it is on grid but if you put it here it's not on the grid so it, it it's not beautiful and when your project is big enough uh, it will um, it won't be beautiful so uh, maybe you don't like to work with that project so uh, always put it on the grid the one thing that i do always in here i will select this designator and put it in here you see when i uh, change this position it's not a snap right on the grid so what we should do let's just see this it is grid and uh, it right one to it it means just one uh, meal i think at the time but if you hit g on your keyboard you can change this to five hit g on your keyboard and you can change it to 10 and again to one but the thing that is good i think this is five you see five is good so let's just put it five is from here to here i think it's no no from here to here is 10 and from here to middle of this line is 5 so uh, the one thing that i do in here i put a designator in here and the name of this um, uh, component in here i think this is the better configuration that you can have but you can use whatever method you want so that's it let's just save it now save all to save it that's cool it will be saved on cloud so that's awesome you can just uh, it's reliable if your computer get a virus um, it won't be it won't uh, delete your project so it is on cloud it's good uh, in here you see uh, i'm changing this uh, um, position to here and here and i'm look at in here you see i want to change this position and i go around in our sheet you can see with right click if you um, hold the right click it will grab sheet and change its position so so what we should do next let's just go here uh, so I, i'm zooming in here with holding control and um, rotating middle mouse in here um, the important thing is this dc jack so let's just go to library and we don't need this so in here dc jack let's just see if we can find something like that in here um, this is good i think that's smd i think smd for this uh, that's it this is smd not um, how you can find out that this is smd let's just show you this is just click in here you see in here there is some white and in middle of it there is some red thing and um, but in here that is smd it's just red so it is a pad but in deep um, let's just in this this is that is deep it's not a pad and it is a it is hole um, so you can just use this SMD part in here, but there is something that is important in here, and that's it. Because uh, in this DC jack, there is a lot of stress, mechanical stress to it. Uh, user wanna just plug it, unplug it, and do whatever to it. So um, it's always better to use true whole component for this. So um, that's that's. Um, the true hole and it will be better for uh, mechanical stress and uh, mechanical stress can't do anything to it so in here there is two options you can click them you see in the first one there is um, not a, a lot of copper this gray or white thing that is that you can see um, in around of this red, red circle is um, copper so in here there is not a lot of copper around uh, our hole but in here there is more copper around around its hole so um, you can use this but i think uh, it will be better to use this so let's just hit place and in here let's just put it there and right click it get rid of it you can see its price in here you can use another parts that you can find there is a lot of part in here that you can use but we did use this and you can see a lot of a lot of prices for that 
So let's just talk about this. Uh, you see in here, I did change designator and its name location, but in here, I think there is no need to do that. Why? Because in here, we want to just um, put uh, something uh, or draw or draw a track in here, but in here, this bottom of this is for our sub and we don't want to do anything to it. So let's just talk about this DC jack. So you see there is three pin in here. Two of this pin is for ground and one of them is for for uh, VCC or uh, it's for VCC. So why did there is two pin for ground? I will tell you. Um, this pin one, you can see that it is for connecting to um, outside of uh, our jack so let's just search for dc jack for us to show you you see in here there is outer side and there is uh, inner side of this um, dc jack so this is outer side and this is inner side so this one is for connecting this one pin one is for connecting to outer side so outer side is this for connecting to this and this one is for connecting to inner side okay um, this is for 5 volt and this is for ground but what happened to this what will happen to this um, there is a time that you want to check if there is a voltage in here okay you can use pin 2 what happened if we just uh, plug a, this uh, plug uh, something to this it will go in here and push this down and this pin 2 won't be connected to pin 1 anymore and with that you can just read if this uh, something uh, plugged to this DC jack or not so no we know that this 2 is connecting to ground but for this project we don't need to um, detect if something is plugged to this or not so if you want to use it you can use it but uh, for now we don't want to do that okay this two pin is connecting to ground so let's just go to home and to wire and now we can just connect this to this because this is um vcc and in here we should just connect it to uh, in pin v in you see we have two option in here we have two way of doing this pcb um, the one is that um, the arduino part we can just use this but i don't want to just um, use this because um, use all of the thing that is here and uh, when we use when we use uh, these capacitors here and this capacitor here for you to see why they do this uh, let's just go and download its data sheet uh, if you double click on its name you can just uh, copy its name in here let's just select this and right click and copy you can just hit ctrl c to copy it but you can just right click and copy it and in here let's just ctrl v to paste it here and hit enter to search for its data sheet and in here you can see that uh, there is a pdf in here if you uh, right click on it you can download it and if you uh, click on it you can download it as well okay that's cool let's just open it now so in here you can see um, this um, component uh, data sheet you see that it can uh, just supply uh, 1.5 amp and it has a lot of type uh, the part that we use is 5 volt but it has up to 24 volt um, component in it and there is thermal overload protection short circuit protection output transient and Two percent output voltage tolerance, tolerance, and that's that's a good part. You can just read its uh, a description. But the thing that I wanna show you that let's just go to uh, next page, next page, and um, this is internal um, circuit. You don't need to know anything about it. This is internal circuit again. Um, and in here you can see all the packages that it has i think we did use this package that is d2 pack so it's better for you to know this um, these sizes so you can use it later and that's it application circuits it 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 
telling you that what capacitor you should use on input and what capacitor you should use on the output why they use why they use uh, these two capacitor on input and one capacitor on output because um, this is this is minimum thing that you want but uh, in here in here you see there is a lot uh, more capacitor when you use 100 nanofarad it you use it for um, for um, high frequency noise and when you use a uh, 100 microfarad it's for uh, bypassing and uh, supplying current at the uh, fraction of time so um, it always is better to use more capacitance on your power but you see if you just if you just want to uh, make your project cheap you can just use this capacitor and this capacitor and that will do and uh, it will work you don't need to use uh, more than this but if you use it will be uh, more reliable so that's cool let's just go to our project and add those capacitor to our project go to view go to libraries and in here the capacitor that i want to add in here is let's just see i want to use this this parts in here so 100 microfarad let's just search for it 100 microfarad hit enter and you see there is a lot of um packages in here you see there is a lot of packages electrolyte tantalium um that is electrolyte uh, surface mount and this is ceramic uh, capacitor and there is a lot of part with a lot of packages and uh, the part that i want to use uh, the package that i want to use in here is 0805 and hit enter and you can see that's the part that i want to use and um, if you just hold over this i think that's not a good footprint um, that's a good footprint uh, with my experience if uh, you may you want to make your um, project as small as it can be uh, maybe you don't need a lot of silk screen on it if you uh, select in here you see there is a lot of um, space that it doesn't need but its pad is is small but in here its pad is enough and you can solder it by hand so it is size of 0805 um, let's just go to in here ceramic cap packages if you download this PDF in here download it open it uh, Vichy is a good company that uh, create a lot of capacitor a lot of kind of capacitor that is uh, good and let's just uh, see all the packages that is here these are um, true whole component and you can see the rating uh, how much uh, voltage it can uh, take it 500 voltage for AC and um, let's just see it's um, the AC voltage that you can uh, take let's just go down and you can see that is in here there is a lot of sizes in here 0402 that is a lot used for antenna and high frequency stuff but the size that we use is this 0805 you can see it take um, relevant to its package it can um, take 60 uh, 16 volt to 1000 volt but for size it is different let's just go down there is a lot of sizes you can just read uh, all of these so we can you know just place it that is a good size you see i want to rotate this um capacitor how we, how i can do it know that i uh, uh, that i did select it uh, hit a space on your keyboard and with that you can just rotate it i want to put it here with a left click there is two capacitor in here so let's just put two in here no 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 let's just right click get rid of this and get rid of this no um, double click in this you see there is not uh, anything about uh, about it to say that this is 100 microfarad if you double click uh, in here you can go to parameters and uh, the capacitance in here you see they they tell us it's um, this size but you see it's in farad but we want it in microfarad so just change it to 100 microfarad that's cool 
let's make it visible but it's comment we don't want it to be visible so click here for it to not be visible so no hit ok and you can see that we have uh, 100 microfarad and uh, the thing that I want to do is to uh, replace this designator to here and 100 microfarad to here and no we can go to home and wire this up that's cool and um, we need uh, what we need in here let's just see we, we need 100 nanofarad so um, we can the thing that we can do we can just copy and paste this with control C to copy it and control V to paste it but I want to just find it on auto part again and like this change this to 100 nanofarad let's just uh, download its its part that's not good that's not good footprint so that's good let's just use this place it so um, hit a space to rotate it and we want to maybe just put it in here hit tab no on your keyboard and you will go to properties for schematic, schematic component in sheet okay so you don't need to place it then go double click on it and change its parameter you can know just hit tab on your keyboard and change or make make its comment unvisible and find its uh, that's cool capacitance it um, again write it on farad but we want it we want it to in non farad so we write it like this and make it visible that is a text that is only a text and hit ok on your keyboard place it right click it, get rid of it you see in here there is some uh, description that is saying that it can take up to 100 uh, DC voltage so that is more than enough because uh, it doesn't need a lot of voltage in here if you want to know how can uh, how much voltage it can take and make it to 5 volt we can go to uh, data sheet of it and if we go to first page Um, in here on page 7 you can see DC input voltage it can go up to um, 35 or 40 so that's cool it, it means that you can uh, plug a power up to 40 volt in here and um, this uh, component will give you 5 volt in here and the capacitor that you choose if you double click on it the capacitor you choose it should have um, that that voltage rating you see in here there is a problem this capacitor can take up to uh, uh, 40 volt but this capacitor if you double click on it it can take up to uh, 100 volt so that's good but this one is not good so let's just select it and hit delete on your keyboard and now go to library and find 100 microfarad again that can take up up to um, uh, 100 or something like 40 or 50 uh, volt the problem in here you see we want um, uh, 100 microfarad but we can't find uh, any uh, 100 microfarad that can take up take off to 25 volt or 40 volt or something like that so what we should do we should change its size the size that i want to uh, use is 12 um, um, 12 uh, 06 in here hit enter on your keyboard to see if we can find anything for that and um Let's just see if it's it's 100 uh, you can see at the bottom of it and this pop-up is telling you that is it can take up um, to 10 volt 10 volt is not enough for us this is uh, 6.3 uh, so that's not good so let's just find another one this is for 4 volt that's not good let's just change the size of that to uh, 12 10 to see if we can find something let's just search for 25 volt as well there is not any um, of course we can use um, um, THD or true hole part uh, in here so uh, it will it can take up more than that um, but uh, I rather just uh, find a better one in uh, SMD. So you can see there is six 
16 volt in here and let's just use this and in uh, the documentation of our uh, project and our product pro product we can say that its power can be zero to uh, no 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 it can be from seven um, it can be from uh, seven to 16 volts so let's just place this for our um, power and um, Put a space on your keyboard and put it there and close this now and double click in here you see there is not a lot of parameter in here all the parameter is um, on the library um, section so we can add parameter to it the parameter that I want to use is capacitance capacitance I hope it's okay and is 100 uh, microfarad that's cool and the voltage that it can take voltage rating is 16 volts so it okay and it okay again and now you can see I want to put this it's not on the grid no, that's cool let's just put this in here we don't want this cap in here because we know how um, so we should we should un unvisible this here this comment and that's it no we should let's just go to home and connect this as well to here no let's just connect ground if you go to here you can just leave ground in here and the one for this let's just connect it like this all this ground should be connected together but this is beautiful to do it like this connect this like this to here this to here and all of this now is connected together okay um, the thing that we should do in here we should put a, a note in here so if you click in here and go in here and put a note in here click you can just write a note in here we in we in a max is equal 16 volt because our our capacitor can take up more than that if you if you want to um, have more than 16 volt you can uh, use thd component in here or a, com a capacitor that ca can take up more than that so but for no it is enough let's just save all so one thing that i want to talk about now here is this this red zigzag here it's uh, telling you that there is an error here there is error with this part if you compile this project um, you can compile it in project right click on it and compile it there will be some errors you see there is some error here there is some warning here first of all it says it's duplicate component designator because we didn't annotate our project or a schematic so there is a lot of error in here so i will tell you i will show you how you can just get rid of those errors but let's continue first and then I will talk about all these errors and we will get rid of all of them. Next, what we should do, if we go here, we need one, uh, one capacitor in here uh, for 100 microfarad. Let's just add it. We can just select this one and copy it and in here just paste it. That's the easy way but you can go to library and add it again in this case you don't need 60 volt okay you need just um 6.3 volt or 5 volt uh, no because output of this is 5 volt maybe uh, you need something bigger than 5 volt like 6 volt or 6.3 and but in this case um, i rather use this so i can copy it and in here paste it and use it okay and i can just uh, copy this ground here with ctrl c select it and ctrl c to copy it select here uh, click here and ctrl v to paste it in here you see all this ground is at a grid and aligned together so let's just connect it go to home and use wire and connect these two and 
of course we can use wire to connect this but there is another way if you just select this ground and connect it like this after that select it and bring it down it will create a wire by itself so it is a good method to use i will use it a lot so now you know that um, with this we create five volt in here so how we can use it if you go to home there is something that called net level but you can use another thing that is more beautiful than just net level net level is something that let's just see an example i put um, so, uh, put it there hit tab and in here i just say five volt i can just change its color location and orientation and its size point and everything and hit okay so that's five volt if i put this five volt in anywhere um wherever we put this five volt it will be connected to this it's like just wire but uh it is net label it will be uh, connected in background something like that so but there is better way if we delete this and go to power um, port we can use something like this most uh, positive 5 it's for 5 volt okay but the better way is like this put it up high in here and connect it in home with wire connected to this okay so we create our uh, let's just show you we create our uh, regulator section uh, there is a diode in here that i think we don't need it in here so we can just don't we can just get, uh, ignore it that is okay and one thing that i want to do to our schematic so that it will be more beautiful i will click this and change its position to something like here of course i want this to be on grid so that's cool and if you go to home and select this rectangle i want to put a rectangle around this section okay double click on this rectangle you can just make it transparent that's cool you can if you see that's cool but you can do another thing if you double click on it you can um um, change this uh, uncheck this draw solid and um, in here border width we make it uh, something like large and uh, change its color to something like this hit okay that's cool you see it will be beautiful and we can read it we can see um, all the grids and that's cool but another thing that I want to do just uh, place some text in here hit tab to change its text and I want to call it regular or power supply that's it but I want to make it bigger so click in here on font and make it bigger let's just see what is good bold it maybe and I think that's that be better that's good you see when you reading this um, this schematic you can clearly see see it that this is power supply section and the um, limitation is this and that's cool let's just save it so next part that i want to uh, design is this usb and usb to uart converter you see if you zoom here you see that uh, it will connect to usb usb uh, minus and positive okay and in this side it will give us um txd and rxd it is like an a converter so um, let's do that first of all the thing that we want is usb let's just go to library and this library let's just deattach it and like this we deattach it and we want to search for usb maybe micro no no, no. It, not in favorite you should search on auto part so in here we can search for usb micro and we can select the old thing that is here you can see the price you can see all the thing that um you can see it's a schematic and it's a footprint i want something that has a phd pin on it because 
you see in here it has um thd pin on it it's true hole comp it's true hole pins on it so it will be more powerful against mechanical stress so let's just place this just place it and right click it to get rid of it and i want to place it in here maybe change its name here is good on the grid it should be on the grid and that's cool the next thing that we want is this ic that is converter it's ft 232 let's just search it ft that's it there is an rl at the end of it that's the one that we want of course you can use this there is not a lot of difference between this and this and the only difference between these three that you can see is their packages this package that you see in here it it's package named qfn and it's hard to solder with hand this package that is here it's easy to solder with hand but um, uh, the best um, package that you can um, select to solder with hand is this package that i think it called ssop so let's just place it I, no there is a problem here it doesn't have let's just right click no it doesn't have footprint so let's just find one that has footprint in it um that's the one and let's just that's cool it has footprint in it and we can use it there it, it's uart a usb uart full speed that's cool that's the one that we want to use let's just place it now and i want to just place it with right click i'm grabbing the sheet and put it on grid okay now let's just close this and the good thing about this is that our vcc all the vcc is at the top and all the ground is at the bottom so that's cool um let's just do the layout like the one that is here um you see pin 24 and 17 is uh, with reset is connecting to usb vcc so 24 24 and 17 let's just find 17 that's cool 3.3 out we don't need that why it's connecting connected to this it's not cool to do that no 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 it's not connected to um usb vcc you see when when it's connected it will have dot like this here so pin 20 and pin 4 is connected to usb vcc with reset so let's just do that and uh this is usb vcc if you go to home and in here just select this and hit tab no no you can change its net label i want to call it usb we cc that's cool that's the one that we want i want to put it here and maybe in here and no i can just connect it you see our schematic will be more beautiful than the one that is here will be more readable and more beautiful the next thing the next thing that we want to do we want to just copy this with ctrl c and paste it in here so reset uh, we want to pull it up with uh, this so like like a schematic that is here but i recommend to just uh, put a resistor between reset and usb vcc why because um you you can uh, do it it's good because it will uh, get rid of all the ripple but if you don't do it it will be okay as well because it is pulled up so uh, that's okay if it was uh, active uh, high or you could just put a resistor on it to just get rid of all the um cross talk so reset is connected we did uh, we did do it and the next the next thing we should usb dm to pin 2 usb d minus let's just connect it usb 
D minus to D minus here and USB D plus to you see I just um, create a track here I, I can just be backspace get rid of this one that I create here backspace that's cool and I can connect it to USB plus in here or positive to USB B positive okay that's cool let's just see if there is anything else there is a bypass capacitor I did tell you bypass capacitor is for um, noise and crosstalk and uh, bypassing so let's just um, choose a 100 nanofarad and put it on uh, ground and USB VCC so it should be close to uh, over VCC pins okay we have a set, uh, we have 100 nanofarad here so let's just copy it we can copy it with ctrl c but i can do this as well let's just paste it here i just i want to put it here for you to see that this capacitor should be as close as possible to this to these pins because it it is for bypassing these pins so let's just wire it up we can just copy this with ctrl c and paste it here and have a ground here and put it here and now we can just connect them that's cool that's for bypassing i put it here so you know you should just mm, route it as close as possible to these pins because it's bypassing for these pins so next thing is with um between ground and uh, vcc um 30 should be a 100 nanofarad let's just do that between this and ground so I want to just copy this part you see if you if you hold shift on your keyboard you can select this this and this you can select um, all of these ctrl C to copy it ctrl V to paste it a space to rotate it okay and let's just put it here and the thing that I want to do here uh, uh, I personally when I want to put a capacitor like this here um, horizontally so I did I did just um, rotate this as well let's just select it again hold shift to select it select it and a space to rotate it so that's cool but when I want to do something like this I will put its value in here and its designator in the left of that so this is beautiful and let's just save it with Control S it will save it all I want to just put um, the name of this IC here and its designator at the top of that so that's beautiful now let's just uh, copy and paste this ground here with ctrl C and put it here okay for us to connect these pins to ground that's cool let's save it again and pin test should be connected to ground as well let's just do that where is pin test there is no pin that's it it should be connected to ground so let's just do it like this and it is now connected to ground these two pin we don't want to connect it to anywhere and pin DTR and pin RTS with um, with a resistor is connected and pull it high with 5 volts so let's just um, uh, you see in here it's just telling you that not mounted NM is for not mounted okay it's optional but let's just do that and put it in here maybe we don't use it maybe we use it in the future the programmer will decide if uh, they want to use it or not so let's just do it with um, 10k and pull it pull it high these two pins rts and dtr so let's just pull uh, rts and dtr high with 10k go to library or maybe we can just say 10k okay and the size we want 0805 that's cool because it's the size that we want and uh, we want resistor so this is capacitor with the color of this you can guess it and that's the capacitor but I don't like its schematic footprint so just find a better one that's cool I like this so let's just place this DTR and 
another one for RTS. That's cool. Let's just right click and close this. Select both of them with holding shift and select inspector. Okay, make it as big as it can be. And in here, I want to just say, um, let's just make it bigger, little for you to see. I want to just uh, say that mm, don't show this, these two. Okay, let's just find. I don't want it to show the comment. Show designator. Okay, show it. But I don't want it to show comment. I want to delete its comment so you see there is no comment here and i can instead of that say that it's 10k okay instead of that we can just say 10k and we can just no close in a specter and you see we did it fast like like this one here it is horizontal so let's just put the value here and designator here value here designator here and no um let's just see how it uh, it just pull it high with five volt okay we have five volt here let's just pull it up with five volt every oh, space rotated and again paste it another time and no we can just wire it up dtr and rts that's cool and oh, we can say in here just I want to add another thing to it show shift and select both of them and in in a specter we can just change uh, their two value together so in here when we say 10k we can just underline and not mount it and it means that you maybe don't need to do that don't need to uh, solder that so that's cool just close inspector and save it with control s that's cool we did it we don't need to uh, just bring up all these we don't need it and there is a indicator for uh, for our usb is on the tx or rx so there is a two led for r1 is for rx and one for tx let's just um, put them in there for what pins let's just see pin 22 23 22 23 let's just do that in the library we need led led uh, 0805 it's enough we can just select each one whatever we want that's cool that's the good one let's just place it these two pin use it as indicator so right click to get rid of it and close this let's just copy this resistor here because it needs resistor as well okay this resistor as well put this here designator on the left led here designator on the left and hold shift and select these two go to an inspector and instead of this you see um, it's the value that we want to just um, limit the current that will go through these leds so 220 um, is good value so we should connect it to this usb vcc with ctrl c copy it with ctrl v paste it put it here and now we can wire it up go to home wire that's cool let's just connect this connect this Twenty-two. That's cool. Uh, another thing that I wanna do in here. Let's just see. Twenty-three is for RX. Let's just put it there. If you double-click on here, in the comment, let's just change it to RX. And this one we can just change it to TX. Okay. So we we now have uh, our LED indicator. All this red e red stuff that is for warning and errors is for designator that we didn't annotate it. Annotate it is like um, Altium. Please 
call this t1 call this t2 call this r1 call this r2 so we should do all of that it is automatically and it is easy and i will show you how you can annotate your uh, schematic this part that you can see here i did tell you it's for power selecting we did, we will do it later but the part that is for usb to serial converter or usb to uart converter is finished so let's just um change its position i am holding shift now holding shift and select all of this it holding shift select everything and just move it uh, maybe here it should be on the grid that's cool and know that we did this part let's just um draw a rectangular around it right click to get rid of all the other transparent maybe in here we have we have it like this and just copy this paste it here with ctrl c i did copy it double click on this text double click on it select it after that double click and change its name usb to serial or you art that's cool let's just double click in here draw solid un unselect this draw solid and make it large and change its uh, color at okay that's cool this way is i think is better now this grid you see it's a lot let's just go to grid again and change its color to something uh, like this that's cool it's better now now we can just select this all of this and change its position that's good we can change its size by selecting here and um, grab this dot here make it smaller it's for usb to serial and uh, there is a lot of space on the top so let's just bring this in here and select these here and bring it down a little bit put this here and again change its position holding shift select this as well so we just bring it up so that's more beautiful we can just make this closer to here so it will be um, more beautiful just select all of these holding shift and select all of these and let's just delete this and it's closer to our converter hit g on your keyboard so it will snap to grid and now again wire it that's cool that's all you need to do again save it and make it smaller this way now and in here something we forgot to do this gnd and this id if you don't want to use it it's not important This IC is not on the grid, so, so let's just select it and maybe we should select all of these because none of them is rightly on grid. So select everything with holding shift and holding shift select this, select this, select all the things that is not on the grid. Um, and again, let's just select it. Hold shift, select all the other. It, it, I did change it to one. And now I can just put it on grid. That's cool. Now it's on grid. Let's just check everything to see everything is okay or not. This is not on the grid. So let's just put it on the grid. That's cool. 
everything else is now on the grid and it is beautiful everything is connected as you want it if you select everything again and that's cool let's just put it here i think this one is not connected because we didn't select it when we wanted when we wanted to put it on the grid so control z to bring it back and select it again we should just put it on the grid so that's cool this one is not on the grid so control s to save it now everything is connected everything is connected and, and it is good these are connected these are connected and everything is okay for usb to serial let's just um, always save it so now let's just go to our 80, 80 mega 8 first of all let's just find 80 megabyte on octopart that's it you can use it you see there is a footprint and uh, a schematic footprint is as well let's just place it to see if a schematic footprint is good or not it's so big so it's not good let's just go to library again and check another one i think this one is better it is 80 mega that's let's just place this we wanted to just surface mount and this package is good for soldering and for price i think that's good that's more than enough let's just put put it here and that's good now go here and first there is 10 clue 10 clue on on reset pin and it's pulled high so let's just do that copy this resistor here with selecting it and control c to copy it and control v to paste it and hit g on your keyboard so it will snap to grid and change this to just 10k because it should be and you should see it's with 5 volt control c to copy it and paste it here go home and wire it now There is another thing we want to just put a net label here. It's not on the grid. Let's just put it on the grid Hit G again. So G again and that's cool. Now it's on the grid and In net label select this and in here just re uh, we hit tab and change its uh, text to reset Maybe we want to use it later that's cool it's good to be here and after that we wanted crystal and crystal 16 megahertz so let's just find it on libraries it's crystal and this one is 16 megahertz that will work but you see there is a, a smaller packages as well but let's just use this that is um cheap enough let's just place it now in here and uh, we want a capacitor here 22 picofarad and the size that we want is 0805 let's just find it and that's cool let's just place it now put one here and another one here right click and close this let's just see this see the first thing that we don't want to do double click in here and i don't want it to uh, show comments so unselect this and go here to just show this capacitance that is 22 picofarad again double click on it and let's say show this capacitance so that's cool the value should be on the right and designator on the left again do it for this one as well 
22 Tikkun Ara Don't show this but show capstans Okay This one here and this one here I just find the better I think it's in middle now and it should be on that's cool let's just wire it now that's cool the thing that you want to do on the crystal we want to we want it to show this frequency but don't show this so no it is okay that's more beautiful okay let's just wire this side as well 16 megahertz maybe here and this that's good and again where this side as well and we want a ground here so in this case i will rotate it and that's it let's just do this so the crystal section is good now ground should be the ground and vcc and avcc should be on uh, 5 volt and there is a bypass capacitor that is 100 nanofarad let's just put it there let's just go here 5 volt and put it here and ground there is a bug in Altium so that's good let's just connect it now that's good but if we want a bypass for this we can just copy this hold shift copy it ground is common between these two and um, let's just paste it here and 5 volt copy the control c it's based to rotate it paste it here and bring it out to here maybe and that is bypass that should be uh, close to this pin we want we have this AVCC and ground here, so let's just connect it. It should be to 5 volt, and we need a ground here as well. So this ARF, let's just see, uh, it uh, gave it a net label, and let's just see, it connected to one of the header pin. Let's just, uh, we connect it like this, but we don't need it for now. Let's just leave it it like this and there is a button for reset let's just put it there for reset there is a button go to library that is tech switch i think you can use whatever whichever one one you want let's just use this there is no no any there is not any footprint or anything for them let's just search for button i don't want this but this is good that's okay, let's just place this for our reset. Let's put it here and let's just close this. Double click on here, designator, maybe SW with question mark. SW is constant, but question mark, Altium will decide what it will be. It's like a number. And let's just um, say, don't visible this so and wire it up to reset and we should just connect it to ground let's just copy it with ctrl c and paste it with ctrl v and that's it and the other thing that i want to do in here i want it in comment i want to say that is reset so that's cool reset is good now you see in here uh, in this uh, um converter um it's connect txt and rxt to uh, txt and rxt of our mcu so let's just connect it or put that label on it i want to call it in here ft txt 
okay this is this ic is ft and this pin is txt so that's it ft this one is rxd that's cool and now let's just select these two and bring them out holding control now and bring this text inside that's good and now we can just connect the two ticks and rx of this um mcu let's just find ticks and rx that's it um, pin 30 and 31 let's just see if it's you see in here it's the thd um two hole component it's 18 mega two hole component so pins number is not the same but uh, pd0 and pd1 is the pins that we want for txt and rxt in this one uh, pd0 and pd1 is exactly like that and we can use it um, the thing that you should consider ft txt should be connected to rxd of this so it should be connected to here and rxd of this ic control seat copy it should be connected to txd of this 80 mega or or mc let's just select this bring it out and holding control and bring all the text inside so that's cool now we connect this to ic and that's cool um the other thing uh, we should just put a one k resistor between these two ic let's just do that um we have some resistor here we can use them and the resistor in here call control c to copy it and control v to paste it in here hold hit tab on your keyboard oh you can do that let's just put it here and you see it's automatically uh, is between this and this side so double click on it and change it to 1k and it is okay we want to put this value here and this designator here Control c to copy it and paste it another one here that's cool that's all we want another thing that we need to do is uh, you see there is a mm, there is a indicator in here see to this pin i don't want to do that because we don't it's just an indicator and uh, of course you can do it but in this case i don't mm, i don't see why why i should do that it's for one time programming it and test your program and there is a lot of things that you can test your program like relay or uh, something like that but let's just put something like this on pb5 to be exactly like this there is a uh, led in here Control c to copy it and on pb5 let's just put it here let's see how they did it on pb5 connected to a resistor and then ground so we need a resistor in here connect and let's just move it away a little so our top change this value to this that's it this value is good and we want a ground here that's good let's just wire it up let's just delete this and do it again that's good now for indicate indicate and for testing or MCU, this this pin header for programming it everything is finished but uh, this pin header we should do the 5 volt ground and MOSI it's for SPI reset it need reset it need uh, SCK for clock and it need MISO master in slave out and this is master root slave in um, this is selecting for selecting it that's cool it will always be selected so that's cool um, let's just find that go to library pin header I think we can find something for that something like this but you see it's for it's it has a lot of pins in it but we want just four pin no I will I think we need six pins that's cool that is what we want let's just place it now and I want to put it on the bottom no right click and it's on the grid double click on it 
I don't want it to be visible. It's just a connector. It's not a lot important in here. And I want to connect it with net level because net level is, um, of course, beautiful. 80 MISO. So I want to call it this. This is MOSI. 80 MOSI. That's cool. Another thing is this. 80 SCK. That's cool. Let's just bring these two out. It's now holding control and bring all the text inside. I want all this to be on one line, so let's just put bring this out a little and bring this tree text somewhere like this. And you know, you see in here there is five volt in pin two. So let's just find a five volt and copy and paste it. The best way is copy and paste. Then it's more faster and safer. That's it. Ground in pin six. Control C to copy this. Control V to paste it. That's cool. This pin is connected to MOSI. So MOSI, copy it, paste it on here. Bring it out a little. Holding control, bring text in. Pin one is pin one is connected to MISO. MISO pin one. Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it. Bring it out. Pin three is connected to SCK. Pin three is connected to SCK. Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it. And uh, pin five is connected to reset. Let's just find reset here. Control C to copy it and paste it on here. That's cool. And where on other thing? That's it. It's for programming. It's just a connector like this that will let you just um, with um, wire just give a this V in in here, and uh, it's just uh, let you. It's just like DC jack, but it's pin header you can just uh, put voltage in via in and ground and it will give you 5 volt use this regulator and give you 5 volt and um, it's just a pin header for uh, replacing this but we don't need it because we uh, we have we want to use two relays and relays uh, maybe want um, some current I don't want to use USB VCC and this should work but uh, maybe we will add this as well. Everything I think is finished for 80 mega and over Arduino. Arduino is like just this. So what we should do now that we finish this, let's just put this on here because I wanna just draw rectangular around it just copy and paste this one here and paste it on here and make it a little bigger and select all of it it should be on the grid and I want to call it our doing no or MCU because um, this and this and this is uh, like an Arduino but this is just an MCU it's Arduino we have some space here so let's just put this on the grid and in here and copy and paste this here double click on it and call it custom Arduino make it bigger no, it should be bigger that's it that's good everything is good let's just uh, with control s just save it 
So we finished uh, all the thing here, but um, the thing that I want to add is this power select. Uh, this power select is for uh, whether you want to just power all this stuff with um, USB, USB VCC, or you want to uh, power it with this VCC that is come from power jack. So let's just add this this is a pin header and you can put jumper on this and this so you can you will connect the connect this to this so the board will be powered with usb vcc and when you just put jumper on this and this and this will these two will be connected together and this way um it the board will be powered with this vcc here so what we should do in here let's just call this vcc that's okay but um let's just make this a little bigger and here add a pin header if you go to library and in here pin header we want a three pin let's just search for three pin to see if it will find something or not no it's not what we want that's it this is T connectivity, this number 343 three pins, so place it now. So I will put it here, right click to get rid of this and uh, double click on it. In here, I don't want it, this to be visible and I want to call it P and question mark is for annotating, automatic annotating. So that's cool. And on one side, I want to add VCC let's just put it here and uh, at the other side i wanna just use usb vcc so you can power it with usb vcc or vcc you can choose from them and i wanna um, use this by volt for output of this so that's cool You see, if you put if you put jumper on pin two and pin three, um, five volt will be connected to VCC. VCC is from this regulator. But if you put jumper on two and one, five volt will come from USB VCC. That is five volt. So that's okay. There is a indicator here. You see that will show you that um, board is on, board powered on. So let's just do that. Um, let's just copy and paste these hold shift to select uh, all the thing you want to select Control c to copy it and maybe in here there is not a lot of the space here so let's just make some space make it a little bigger and it doesn't need to be this much wire so if we just put this here and make this that's cool and now we can hold shift select these and just move it to here that's cool it's for just indicating that um board is on control c to copy this exactly like um the uh, image that we have let's just do it this way no it is okay when you pop when you put jumper on here this led will be on or when you put jumper in here this led will be on but when you don't connect any jumper in here don't put any jumper in here this led will be off so you know that uh it's shut down or it's it doesn't have power i want to change its comment um let's call it power that's cool Control s to save it so we could save it we don't need this because we add um, we can use this for testing and i think everything is finished and we should go to um relay section and add those relays again i did a mistake here i did select I didn't deselect it and after that um, rotate that one so that's okay everything is finished now but we should just add two relays in here uh, let's just go to view library and search for relay 
I want a 5 volt relay, 5 volt ten amp. So that's cool. This is Omron, that is good um, relay, we can use it. Um, but you see, its footprint is not so good because it doesn't have 3D body. I want to show you 3D body of it. So I think this is this has 3D body and you see how you can find out if it has 3D body or not uh, when I hover over it you can see something in um, I, will I will show you in PCB section that we that's cool let's just use this let's just put it here this is our relay put the name here the Zignito at the top of it and I think that's good I want to show you something here you see I don't remember anything and I will search everything to find out what I should do you see for driving a um, relay we need a uh, transistor we need a uh, let's just click on it we need a resistor on the base of this transistor and we need a diode for uh, protection of this self so that's good that's all we need the transistor we want is 2n2222 and a it's just easy let's just do it find that transistor this is the transistor that we want I want to choose surface mount if these are um, THD true hole component but I want to surface mount if you can find it it will be good let's just find another transistor that is uh, so much like this but it is um, it is SMD so that's good I did use it and it, it worked good so let's just place this so place one in here and we want to resistor as well so what we want to do we want to just drive this um, relay this is coil of it let's just see one side of it should be connected to 5 volt so let's just connect this side or this side to 5 volt I want to connect this side to 5 volt so let's just make it some close no we want to just put diode in here so the diode that I want to use to protect um, to protect um, from this relay is um, this one. Just search for it, and that's cool. That is SMD. Let's just place it now, and that's it. Let's just put this here. Double click on it, and we don't want to show this, but show this. That's cool. That's okay. I want to put it this way. Double click on this as well. Don't show this, but um, show its name. That is this, oh, visible this. So that's good. But its name is like this LL. That's cool. And I want to put it here to protect it, to protect uh, our circuit from coil of relay and we want to connect 5 volt here so this is 5 volt put it here and with this we connect this to ground let's just connect ground here that's cool we want a diode in here so we want a resistor in here so this resistor let's just use this and let's just connect it and after that bring it out and let's just wire it up until here and give it a net label call it r1 this is for relay one and in here i want to add a connector here let's just go to new library and in here connector let's see if what it will show show us or it's just fine terminal something like this but it had to replace and it's good you see something it's like terminal maybe we change it later but for now it is good 
I want to put it here and double click on it don't show this please that's cool we know what it is it will be connected to this and this connected to this go home wire connect this to here and this is um common pin let's just give a net level to all of them this is normal normal close okay this is normal open and this is command pin and that's it it should be connected this way and just bring this because we need just click here because we need we have one two relay it we should just name this normal close one because it is for relay one let's just change this Common pin, normal open one, it's for relay one. Change this. So all of this is for relay one. This is for relay one. Let's just give it a rectangular and let's give relay another color. Double click on it and change its color to something like this you can change it to whatever you want and I wanna copy this with ctrl C list it here with ctrl V and call it relay 1 so that's ok and from here we wanna just copy this and paste it here put it on grid everything is it's good it's not completely on grid so it's just that's cool this is relay 2 and you should change all of this as well common pin that's good this is relay 2 so this is R2 we should change it and for now everything is ok no I want to just add a temperature sensor if you go to internet and search for mm, search for this it's just and Let's just open its data sheet. You see, this is digital um, thermometer provide 9 bit to 12 bit Celsius temperature measurement. So it is a good temp temperature sensor that I did use in my project, and it is good. So let's just search it on library. So I don't want to use uh, this, but let's just. I want to just surface mount so that's cool let's just place it you see I want to talk about something it uh, it need one wire so uh, our microcontroller or our MCU doesn't have hardware have one wire so you should write your own one, uh, software one wire so that's easy there is a um, library for that and you can do it um, easily with libraries that Arduino have so let's just put it here and you see you don't need to connect any of these pins there is just a GND PDD and this data that is one wire so let's just connect it branch this is the VDD we should just check to see if it use 5 volt or 3.3 or both so it can you see supply voltage can be 5 volts so let's just connect it connect this to here and connect this to here and net level to here bring it out double click on it I want to change it to temp one wire that's good we will connect it to anywhere we want on 
or Arduino because every digital pin or an Arduino can be um, one wire. So let's just copy this and put it here, make it a little small. And I want to add something else to this. And let's just go up a little and put this here. You can just change this to temp sensor that's good but i want to add bypass capacitor to this uh, you should add bypass capacitor to all all of your all of your um ic's so that's good let's just use this control z to bring it back so select this control c to copy it and in here just paste it here because it's neat. you can rotate it of course that is more beautiful let's just bring it up a little hold shift and put it maybe here it's not on the grid so let's just select it again that's cool so everything is fine another thing that we want to do we want to just connect all this to our mcu in here what we should do we connect this to this and our um, regulator but we should just connect temp um, temperature one wire just have to wherever you want we will change it later of course so let's just put this at the top in here and there is r1 and r2 this is for r2 and let's just change this to r1 okay let's just put it here and that's okay and we want to just bring all the other pins out and use pin header so let's see how many pin um, we need one two three four five six nine ten eleven twelve fourteen pin left so we need header for that header let's just search for te connectivity 7 i think now we can't use this of course you can use whatever you want but yes you see i right click on it and uh, i did go to component details and in here you can download its data sheet and see all the thing that is mattered like um, um its price so you can see everything and you can edit it or we can just use it let's just use it now we can go to library we need this seven let's just try and find a better one if we can find but that one is good that's good let's just place it one in here another one in here and that's good double click on it and this is p question mark we don't need to be make this visible okay p question mark and now let's just connect them you see we don't have a lot of space here so just get this and bring it down that's cool there is a something in here let's just change this position to here and now we can just bring it down to here this there's a problem here let's just get rid of them and now again go to wire and connect all of these here to here connect these like this
and that's all you see our arduino board is exactly like arduino uno but um, it's i think is cheaper because we did use this converter here and we didn't use any mcu to do that and it has two relays that can just turn off or turn on a ac uh, supply or ac load and there is a temp sensor on it that you can use it and that's that's all for now with control s let's just save it now that we finish our design or schematic we can go to pc but before that i want to show you something um you see there is some errors here this red zigzag is for showing an error in um altium if you go in here right click in here and compile your project there will be some error in here you see some error and in bottom of that some warning i think that's that's it this is warning and this is errors so how we can get rid of them let's just um, close this and the first thing you should do is um, annotate all the designator what what is all the errors errors and warning is for that you you have more than one uh, c question mark so you have duplicate designator that's one error let's just compile it again to see all the errors duplicate component designator that's an error you see duplicate because we have in here a three c question mark so that's an error let's just again compile it and go to warning to see what is warning um it's saying that this part is not linked to octopart that's okay um we can just ignore it and um this error here is for uh, saying that this pin is input and all the input should connect to something um so this is one error that we have here we didn't want to use these two pins or these pins but it give us an error all the input bits should be connected to something and altium give us error here if you uh, click on message you can see that it's saying that uh, this uh, pin uh, this pin is uh, floating input pins so it shouldn't be float because it imp impact uh, the work of this um, ic so what you should do if you go to home and go to directive you can just click generic generic um, generic no erc okay all the pin that you don't want to use just put something like this on it to tell Altium don't give us an error because we didn't want to use it we know that there is some pin that we don't want to use it and some of them is no connect NC is mean no connecting so we know what we are doing so don't give us any errors okay uh, control s to save it now and compile it again that's it some um, one is here let's just give it a no erc um, mark that's cool again control s to save it right click compile it again and there is no all the error that is left is uh, for duplicate designator so that's okay we annotate it and it will be fixed you see there is there is an error for these pins and it's saying that it has no driving source so um, i think the problem in, in here is uh, for uh, it's saying it's like a power pin but it's not a power pin so uh, this is a misunderstanding that the one that uh, create this part has uh, make some mistake so we can just ignore it but uh, let's say we want to uh, we want to see where this pin is connected how we can do it if you go to tools and in here you can just select this and click on here right click and you see it it has a color and if you go down you can see a color in here as well okay you can see where this is connected with this color let's just give give color to this and you see it is connected to here so that's okay and after that we can just clear on the lines okay control s to save it and no we want to just annotate it annotate annotating uh, a schematic is so much easy so you can go just go to annotate 
I will use annotate schematic quietly um, but uh, you can use annotate schematic as well you can just update change list and um, everything is okay uh, why why I don't want to use this because we want to use default that is annotate schematic quietly um, if you click it it will tell you that there is 44 designator that require an update process it changes yes so you see there is not any error left and all the um, designator node has a number on it so this is c1 this is c3 c4 there will be c2 as well that's it is c2 and it, it is annotated if you want to reset the annotating you can just reset all reset it okay and you see it is question mark again if you go to annotated schematics you can say just um how, where to uh, where to uh, annotate it how to annotate it you see from top left to top right and this this way it will be annotated you can change them how they can be annotated but the default is good i i i, I will I did use this type I, I always use this type for my project and after that you can just update all changes and after that accept changes and in here you can validate it that's okay all, all has checked and execute changes okay and close it close it and everything is now okay so um, I did tell you I, I always use annotated schematic quietly and that will work okay now if we compile it let's just go to file and save it again save and no compile it you see there is no error left and all that there is is warning okay we can just um, ignore warnings because um, it's just saying that is not linked to octopart that's good there is not errors in our schematic